my favorite phrase and right now is non-trad, non-traditional, that whole non-traditional wave, which is so important. But I was I was a kind of a native non-traditional music person. So I was trying to fit in to the BOC world um, and it wasn't really working. And it wasn't until I was able to uh, to kind of go back to the drawing board, work it out with the administration on approaches and then they and then support in those strong areas so i started teaching ukulele in general music class and then that became uh that then that grew into guitar and then grew into a modern band so then COVID hits the whole world goes virtual and everybody's struggling to teach online and when that happened i'm loving it because i love technology i i love i love my all my apple computers and guitars and software so we went online I'd already written a guitar curriculum several years ago called Blue Guitar that I, I, you know, I sell to schools outside of Atlanta. And we had, I had all these lessons ready to go. So online format was a natural fit for me. The, um, what, how you mentioned like learning guitar with YouTube, Mm -hmm. that was, that was my approach for virtual. I said, well, we just need to look at teaching music instead of teaching it in a large group format, like band, orchestra, choir and look at it a little bit more individualistically hmm. uh, and think of it in the YouTube format, because that's how people really learn music. They learn it at home, they learn watching videos, they learn by themselves. So if you could tap into that energy hmm. and put it in a school format, you could do it. And it just took a pandemic to shut the traditional system down to let those seeds kind of grow up a little bit. So I lean, I'd leaned into that, music technology, having kids get their own instruments, having ways for uh, students to even pick up instruments or borrow instruments from school to take home, making it real, making it uh, lifelong. That's, that's the real goal. Lifelong learning and musicianship. Well, that's a, I think that's a really important point. And you kind of talked about, you know, maybe non-traditional way of kind of being in that role and not really being focused on education because you're really focused on learning and the reality of it is you probably get kids interested enough, give them basics that they go explore and they have that interest to go figure some stuff out. And that's where you kind of develop that skill set. And for me, that's a really important aspect of what I talk about all the time is this notion of empowerment, getting kids to the point where they feel no offense to you or any teacher, they don't need you. 